And it definitely feels like the bottom of a squat wave. Running six today, gonna make the best of it. See where we end up. Unlike the sumos where I was pleasantly surprised by how light it felt, I'm being unpleasantly surprised by how heavy this shit feels on my back. But gonna get the belt on, go five, first work set, make the best out of it. We'll stay there for the next one. Felt a little better than the last one. See if we can wake up a little bit more again for this one. On to some hacks, four plates, feeler set, still sore as shit from these last week. So again, we'll, we'll work with what we got. and was actually pleasantly surprised by that last one. So if this feels light, run it as another feeler. If it feels heavy, we'll just turn it into a work set. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna go up. All right, five being a feeler means we're running six for work set, so let's dig in. <laughs> <laughs>
is fun. And Darrell just asked if I ever run a belt on hack squats, and I'm like, no, I don't think I'm being limited by my torso, but I mean, might as well find out if we actually are limited by torso and just don't realize it. I guess we were a little torso limited without the belt. And fuck it, felt good, we'll go seven. Point at, am I in frame? Joel, am I in frame? Maybe give, maybe give a little, little bit of that way. Fucking cameraman Durrell. Need to raise his salary. Ed, legs are absolutely fucked after that, so a little bit lighter on the singles, but we'll try to keep the range decently strict on them, so we'll do our best. That is touching out of your bagness in a wonderful way right now. And I was gonna go through these, no rest, save a little time, negate the need to add weight. Last round. Wow. That's fun. And as promised, we are back to the make your own Nordic curl setup. Legs are feeling fucking roasted right now after the squats and the hack, so. Hopefully, this isn't too embarrassing. Fuck. So much harder than glued ham races. Holy shit. Fuck. Man. Try to make these less pathetic. All right, last one. 
They were going till they weren't. And just gonna crank into some light-ish reps again on this sucker. Try to blow them quads off. Finish them legs off nicely. Still shaky, but at this point, I'm not really expecting that to change too, too much. Going lighter, slower, just trying to make sure I'm contracting. Yeah, not just lift. Yep. Fuck. Feels good though. Did you add anything to the staff or it's still the same? Okay, good. Oh my god. Yeah. Right? Gym cat. Oh no, no. And because there's a cat in the gym, we're gonna not be a pussy and run blue kettlebell for GHR setups. These are kind of starting to finally feel like I can dig into them again. <sighs> Set two, gonna see if I can get a little bit more range without feeling like I'm gonna die. So freaking hard. And that is that. Another good session in the books. And I'm almost like in disbelief by how strong I still feel right now with the calories I'm running. Because even though like I keep saying I feel good, like I'm still hungry. I still feel low. I still like feel more tired than I would if this was at the end of meat prep and I'm peak strength and I'm having 800 grams of carbs pre-training on a Saturday. Like I don't feel good compared to that, but I feel so freaking good compared to where this cut started and where previous cuts have led to. And I think like a, the big thing that's contributing to that is not really that I'm doing anything different diet wise or training wise or structure wise. I think kind of comes back to the realization that I had a couple of weeks ago where I just need to be okay with feeling low and okay with feeling hungry. And like, if I just be like, I'm hungry, hunger isn't bad. I feel low, but feeling low isn't bad. and doesn't need, need to mean that I perform bad. Like it's, it's wild so far. And like, I'm not expecting it to last forever. I'm not expecting to feel this strong forever as we continue to drop it, but I'm going to hold on to it and run with it as long as it freaking goes. And if it keeps going, definitely, not going to complain. So more of the story today is don't talk yourself into performing bad. Don't talk yourself into feeling worse than you need to just go in and do your best with it. And like I say, if you just do your best, a lot of times you're going to surprise yourself with how good that can be. And even if it isn't good, if you do your best, like you're going to get better from it. So peace out guys. Have a good rest of your day.